Hey everyone, we're going to prepare some more aluminum panels and also get our control arms onto our differential. So I wanted to show you guys how the frame is welded. And also, the frame only comes down on the left side. I'm wondering if that's an adaptation of 3-link compared to 4-link. Not really sure, but that's my only guess. I can't get these little side panels in until I get the uh, firewall clamps out of the way. So I'm just going to wait till later because it's not a big deal. So I'll give you a little update. I was kind of planning on getting all the aluminum panels uh, drilled holes through. And I thought I had the bits for this, but it's special bits that fit the rivets. And it turns out I don't have the bits. So I'm like, no big deal, I'll go down to the store. So I went down to the store. I went to two different stores, they didn't have them. I went over to Ace Hardware. They actually had them, but I needed two of them. They had one in stock, the other one they didn't have, to have in stock. They had to ship it over from another store. And of course, the one they didn't have in stock is actually the one that I need to drill 99% of the holes. So, so I'm not drilling today. So this is kind of what I was talking about before, where you're kind of planning on doing something, but you could jump ship and move around and do some other stuff. So there's a few things that I need, need to figure out. One is uh, I ordered a um, high-rise hood for the engine compartment, and they gave me a regular hood. Now, I actually kind of prefer the regular hood, um, but I don't think my, my mid-rise intake on the engine is going to actually fit. So I'm going to try to maybe mock up the, uh, now that I have all the engine mounts and everything, mock up the engine mounts, see where that distance is, and I'm not sure if that's going to work with the body off the car and all that stuff. Like, so I'm not really sure where I'm going with it, but if I can measure some stuff, I'm going to, uh, and see if I could use this hood, then instead of exchanging it, I'd rather just keep it. Uh, the other thing is, is now that I have the axle filled, uh, the differential, I want to see, I'm not sure I have all the parts for that. I think I'm missing some bolts, but I could actually start bolting that up and actually putting on all the uh, uh, brakes and uh, rotors and all that kind of stuff. 
So, again, some of the missing parts I have might actually exclude me from doing that, but let's, we'll see. So, whatever happens, happens. I'm not sure, but this is what's going on through the day. So, anyways, while I was at Ace Hardware, they had a sale on a swamp cooler, portable swamp cooler that I could have in the garage. And that sale was great. Well, they didn't have one in stock in a box, so they gave me an extra discount on the one that's actually in the store operating. That's only been there for a week. And, but it's full of water and I had my Lexus, so I couldn't pick it up and throw a wet thing in my, my car. So, uh, but that brings up another caveat. I have a lot of raw steel parts sitting here for the suspension and things like that. And if I introduce a swamp cooler that's just putting massive 80% humidity in the air, all that stuff's gonna rust. So now I think what I'm gonna do today is hunt out all the raw parts and bring them all into the house and so they're not out, out here. And that way I could work in a nice, you know, cooler area than, than I have been because it's been pretty brutal. And then, uh, you know, hopefully get some uh, etching epoxy on my parts as soon as possible. And then we're good to go to bring all the parts back out. So we'll see how it goes, but that's kind of where I'm at. Well, I'm having some kind of binding issue with the driver's side upper control arm, so I'll have to do a little bit of investigation. Um, I mean, it doesn't fit at all. I can't get the bolt all the way through. There's binding and stuff, so I'll do a little investigation and uh, we'll catch up with you on the next video. Uh, please hit subscribe, notification buttons, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.